Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your own blog that we are going to be using in the classroom. First thing we want to know is what is a blog? A uh, blog is actually short for the word web blog, uh, but now people just use the word blog like any other. Uh, and dictionary.com defines it as a website containing the writers or groups of writers' own experiences, observations, opinions, etc., and often having images and links to other websites. Pretty simple. It's basically a place to write down, uh, write down facts, information, and share your thoughts. So, knowing that, let's go get started. First thing we're going to do is type in the web address for the blog service we're going to be using. It's called EDU Blog. So, EDU Blogs. Dot org. We'll click on it, and it's going to pull this website up. Um, there's a, a few different services they offer, but the one we are going to be using is the free one, because free is amazing. So first thing we need to do, click on this big lovely green picture, and it'll take you to this page. Now the great thing about EDU blogs is you can start one without even having a web, um, your own email address. Uh, so for some of you, that'll be a good thing. Uh, first thing we need to do is pick a username. Uh, this is the name you're going to use to log in to your blog every day. Uh, what we're going to use for this class is your last name, um, the date you were born, and your first initial of your first name and the first initial of your middle name. So I'm going to make up a guy. His last name is Dickerson. His birthday was March 23rd, so we are using the date, not the month, so 23, and his name is Charles uh, Johnson. So Dickerson 23CJ. What makes this great is hopefully you never forget your username because it's all things associated with you. Uh, and it's, uh, well, I guess that's the only part. It's something you always remember. Password. Now this is something you have to be careful with. If you do not have an email address when you register, uh, you need to remember your password or else you can never reset it. So pick something you know, uh, maybe a nickname, something weird you randomly remember, um, whatever it is. Uh, I'm going to pick something really close to my heart. Um, so we set the password and then we go over to this next box, confirm password, type the same one. Now, after this, uh, you can set up an email address if you have one. If not, that's fine. Leave it blank. Um, I'm going to leave it blank because I don't want to set one up for this. Once you are done, we're going to click this little box that says, I agree. Make sure you click it. And then click the button that says, go to step two. Now, we go to the second part, which says, name your blog. We're going to name it. Uh, your blog domain, do not change the blog domain. Essentially, your domain is the address we're going to be able to find your blog at. It'll be the thing that goes up in this area of a web browser. What you do want to change or give a name is the blog title. Let's give your blog a cool title. Uh, use something to do with world history in it. Um, in this case, we could say Charles. Char Mm, I don't know. How about Char Charles Dickerson's World History Blog? You can do whatever you like, just make sure it's appropriate for school and includes world history in it. <clears throat> Next thing we want to do, go down to language. Um, select the language, most likely English. And then the blog type. You are obviously going to be choosing students. Do not select teacher, it'll rain, it'll change every setting that you will be using so please 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 select student then we go to the probably the hardest part of registering a blog it's verifying that you're a human what you need to do is whatever is written in this lovely little area you need to type down here and as you can see it says type two words so make sure you realize you're writing this word and this word if you don't like or can't decipher the words all you got to do is click these little double arrows and it'll give you a new challenge. This one looks a lot easier. So this one says over. It looks like T-E-R-R-N-T. -R -R Once you think you have it, click go to step three. Now, as it loads, and it's taking a little while. A little too long. Um, 
If you got it right, it'll load to this new page. Congratulations. If you got it wrong, it'll just reload that again with a new two words for you to do. So congratulations, your new blog, Charles Dickerson's World History Blog, has been created. So that's essentially it. We've created your blog, and that's the end of this first video.